Okay, let's read the mysterious tadpole. This is a fun story. I really love the pictures in this story. Look at the grandfather finding the tadpole in the Loch Ness. And look at all the cats watching him. That's fun. Okay. So, before we start reading, you see this name. You could say Louis, or you could say Louis. Okay, now Louis is the French way and often the English way to say the name. And Louis is more of the American way to say the name. Okay, but since we have a Scottish grandfather, I'm going to go with Louis. I'm going to call him Louis, okay? So let's go. All right. Greetings, nephew, cried Louis' uncle McAllister. I brought a wee bull of Scotland for your birthday. Thanks, said Louis. Look, Mom and Dad, it's a tadpole. Louis named him Alphonse and promised to take good care of him. And we can see that he takes Alphonse to school. And you can see the teacher. That's cool. How, do, how the tadpole becomes a frog. Louis took Alphonse to school for show and tell. Class, here we have a splendid example of a tadpole, exclaimed Ms. Shelbert. Let's ask Louis to bring it back every week so we can watch it become a frog. Ms. Shelbert was amazed to see how quickly Alphonse grew. Maybe it's because he only eats cheeseburgers, said Louis. When Alphonse became too big for his jar, Louis moved him to the kitchen sink. He's the perfect pet, said Louis. Look at them playing soccer in the living room. Mom's not happy. Louis and Alphonse loved to play games. Be careful, Louis, said his mother. The living room is not a soccer field. Something's going to get broken. And she was right. That same day, the soccer ball slammed into Aunt Tabitha's antique lamp. This tadpole is out of control, said Louis's mother. Something must be done. It won't happen again, promised Louis. I'll take Alphonse to obedience school. An obedient school is a place you go to train your dogs, not your tadpoles. The only animals at the obedient school were dogs. Some of their owners stared at Alphonse suspiciously. Pretend you're a dog, whispered Louis. Alphonse tried to bark, but it sounded like a burp. Hmm, what kind of dog is this? Hold on a minute, said the trainer. What kind of dog is this? He's a hairless spotted water spaniel from Scotland, explained Louis. Hmm. Louis quickly learned to sit, stay, and retrieve. He graduated at the top of his class. My parents will be very pleased, said Louis. So that's cool. He's um, a really smart, fast-learning tadpole. Is he a tadpole? Look at that. Look at Daddy in the shower. But Louis's parents were not pleased when Alphonse outgrew the sink and had to be moved to the bathtub. The shower is too crowded, complained Louis's father. This bathroom is a mess, moaned Louis's mother. Wow, this is uh, not a small tadpole. At least Louis's classmates enjoyed Alphonse, who was still making weekly visits. Wow, show and tell is more fun than recess, they yelled. But one day, Ms. Shelbert decided that Alphonse was not turning into an ordinary frog. She asked Louis to stop bringing him to school. This parking lot is now for sale. Notice that, okay, because this is important. This is foreshadowing. Foreshadowing means you see something that's going to happen later on before it happens. But the story doesn't tell you that it's going to happen. It just gives you a little clue. So it tells you before. So it's a little shadow. Like a shadow is not very clear. It's dark and it's not so clear. It's a shadow. So foreshadow means it shows you what will happen later but it doesn't tell you explicitly. It doesn't tell you exactly. It just gives you a little clue. Okay. By the time summer vacation arrived, Alphonse had outgrown the bathtub. 
We could buy the parking lot next door and build him a swimming pool, suggested Louis. Be sensible, declared Louis's parents. Swimming pools are expensive. We're sorry, Louis, but this situation has become impossible. Tomorrow, you will have to take your tadpole to the zoo. But I can't put my friend in a cage, cried Louis. Hmm, where did he find, what place is this? That night, Louis was very sad until he remembered that the gym in the nearby high school had a swimming pool. Louis hid Alphonse under a carpet and smuggled him inside. Nobody uses this place during the summer, whispered Louis. You'll be safe here. After making sure that Alphonse felt at home, Louis said goodbye. I'll be back tomorrow with a big pile of cheeseburgers, he promised. And let's have a look. Look at him. Look at him exercising. Louis came every afternoon to play with Alphonse. In the mornings, he earned the money for the cheeseburgers by delivering newspapers. Cheeseburgers are expensive. The training continued as well. Louis would say, Alphonse, retrieve. And remember, retrieve means to get something back. And Alphonse would succeed every time. As summer vacation passed, Louis became more and more worried about what would happen to Alphonse when the high school kids returned. Ooh, someone's there. Uh-oh. After his first day of classes, Louis ran to the high school and found the gym bustling with activity. That means lots of things are going on. The swim team was heading for the pool. Stop! cried Louis. On your mark, bellowed the coach. Get set! Excuse me, sir! Go! roared the coach. Uh-oh. Alphonse rose to the surface and welcomed the swimmers. It's a submarine from another planet, shrieked the coach. Call the police! Call the Navy! The Navy is the hygiene, the soldiers that are on boats. No, it's only a tadpole, said Louis. He's my pet. The coach was upset and confused. You have until tomorrow, he cried, to get that creature out of the pool. Poor Alphonse and Louis. Louis telephoned his friend, Ms. Sievers, the librarian, and asked for help. I'll be right there, she said. Ms. Sievers rushed to meet Louis at the high school. When she saw Alphonse, she was so startled that she dropped her purse into the water. Retrieve, said Louis, and Alphonse did. Where did this astounding animal come from? cried Miss Sievers. He was a birthday gift from my uncle, Louis replied. And then she wants to find out, because she's a librarian and she wants to know lots of things. She's very curious. I like that. I like curiosity. When you want to learn more and understand more, I love that. Miss Sievers telephoned Uncle McAllister. Oh, the wee tadpole, he said. Why, he came from the lake nearby. It's the one folks call Loch Ness. Brace yourself, Louis, Miss Sievers said. I believe your uncle found the Loch Ness Monster. I don't care, cried Louis. Alphonse is my friend, and I love him. He pleaded with Miss Sievers to help him raise enough money to buy the parking lot so he could build a big swimming pool for, for Alphonse. Oh, this is cool. They're on a boat. Suddenly, Miss Sievers had an idea. Long ago, a pirate ship sank in the harbor, she said. No one has ever been able to find it or its treasure chest, but perhaps we can. The next morning, they drove to the harbor and rented a boat. This is a treasure ch This is a treasure chest, cried Louis. Retrieve! Alphonse disappeared under the water and returned with the chest. It was filled with gold and jewels. Let's buy the parking lot and get to work, cried Miss Sievers. That's useful, the fact that he can just like dive under the water and grab the treasure chest like that. 
Louis, Louis's parents were shocked to see a construction crew at the parking lot. That's the builders. These guys are the construction crew. They're building. You can see it's a crane. And they're busy making the swimming pool. Louis! Sorry, that was loud. They cried. What in the world is going on here? Alphonse found a pirate... Tre- oh, let me try that again. Alphonse found a pirate treasure ship, explained Louis. And we used part of our gold to buy you this present. He's smart. He knew they would be angry, so he got them a present first. Louis's parents were shocked once again. Tickets for a vacation cruise to Hawaii, they gasped. And, said Louis, you don't have to worry about us, because Granny has agreed to babysit. They hugged Louis. They kissed Alphonse. How soon can we leave, they cried. Immediately, which means right now, said Louis. So the parents are gone. They've gone to Hawaii on a cruise. It's one way to get rid of your parents. Ooh, look what we got here. By the time Louis's parents returned, the swimming pool was being enjoyed by everyone in the city. A week later, Louis said, Alphonse, tomorrow is my birthday, which means that you've been my best friend for a whole year. The next day, Uncle McAllister arrived for the party. Greetings, Louis, my lad, he exclaimed. I've come with a curious stone from the hills of Scotland. Happy birthday. That's a terrible accent. Wow, thanks, said Louis. Suddenly, the stone began to tremble and shake.